Good day, folks. Well, this was the um, box stock build of the, I believe, the, the Chubby Cheeseburger Styrene Junkie. Um, finally got it finished. <laughs> it's the Smokey and the Bandit. Um, I think it came out okay. Um, had some issues with uh, the decal uh, placement, which I'll show you here. Um, now, you know, I'm still trying to learn how to make a a good paint job uh, vehicle. You know, as I mostly do um, military and uh, you know railroad stuff and the vehicles I've been making. Um, make them uh, rusty and well worn so um, still trying to figure out a good painting process but um, yep this is just a plain this is that box stock build um, I love this kit uh, yeah, great quality kit um, all the fit is great um, now as you can you know expect with a kit like this um, there's a lot and lots of decals um, this is probably the most decals uh, I have ever had to work with so um, you know I, there's a couple spots which I'll show you where I kind of rushed it instead of like taking a deep breath um, but yeah, um, it's a fun kit. I still have to add the antenna, um, the CB antenna on there. I'm gonna scratch build that. So, um, so I'm gonna uh, show you some of uh, a closer up of the the decal mistakes and and such. But I recommend this kit. I know there's there's this kit, the Smokey and the Bandit. There's also the 78 Firebird kit. Um, I haven't built the other one, but this kit, the 77 Firebird, this particular kit, spot on, man. Um, great kit. I, I just, I can't believe. Ravel really knocked it out of the park with this one. Um, as far as, you know, the details and the parts and the fit. Um, so, one of the things... Uh, you can see I, I did on the the wheels. You can see on the wheels there I painted them gold and then brushed off the top. But yeah, this is this is an awesome kit. So all right, so I know the overview looks pretty good, but there's a lot of mishaps now. When, uh, after the holidays, I'm definitely going to buy like two or three copies of this kit. And I'm going to build this kit box stock for the most part um, until I get it perfected. Because I love that movie. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. I'm not a big movie buff, but um, when Smoking the Bandit first came out, I uh, saw it on a big screen. And there are some good memories because I saw it with my brother. Now, my brother had this car, and as I said earlier, I had this car, um, except mine was blue. And by the time I had it, it was, you know, well beat down. But, uh, you know, if I ever come into money, I would definitely would love to purchase, you know, a mint, you know, rebuilt. Um, version of this car, you know, one to one. Um, this is, you know, uh, it, it's a car that I would love to own someday. Um, you know, not as a daily driver, but you know, has a, a you know, has a weekend cruiser type car. So, but yeah, I just love the look of this thing um, with the the shaker hood on there. And, and that was great. You know, I remember driving it and you'd hit the gas and, you know, the thing would, you know, 
vroom, 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 you know, it was like awesome, you, you know, you would, you would hit on the gas and that thing would shake, you know, it was like, vroom, vroom, you know, and it was great, <laughs> so, alright, so, um, I'm going to show you some close up of the, of my duckle mistakes, and like I said, uh, you know, this is a great kit, I love it, so, um, definitely, um, tax returns, you know, I'm definitely going to buy a, a, you know, handful of, uh, copies of this kit, most definitely. Alright, so, I'll get a little bit of a close-up here, so you can see, um, where I messed up on the duckles, on the, the top there, um, And there's a lot of wrinkling through there. And I know what I did wrong. Um, I put the, the decal solution on and then I tried adjusting it. And I know that's a big no-no. Um, you're supposed to just, when you put it on, just leave it alone. And, uh, and you can see here the placement around the shaker hood. Um, it, it's you know, not even. Um, although the bird does look good. I think it did a good job on the placement of the bird. And, uh, so then it's hard to tell, but around here, um, that was all chrome, and I, uh, I painted it gold, because that's how it, it's supposed to be, so. Alright. So like I said, um, some issues with decal placement. Um, the slide on the shaker hood, the 6.6 .6 liter came out pretty nice, I think. Um, but like I said, there's a lot of um, crinkles in the decal work. Not a big thing. I mean, like I said, I haven't really did too much uh, work on, you know, there. So you see there's a mistake there. Um, yeah, I know it's kind of rubbish, but from a distance and, you know, on the shelf it'll look good. And then, on the back there are some more crooked deco work. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, uh, there are some, you know, issues. And I don't have the, I have the glass out of the tea taps. Um, and there's a little bit better at the front. No, you know, this could use some weathering, of course, and, and stuff, but, uh, I'm just going to leave this one alone. Um, other than the CB antenna that I'm going to scratch build, I'm going to call this one done. Um, just for the fact that, you know, like I said, I'm going to buy a bunch of copies of this kit. And uh, I'm going to build a few other models. And when my skills get a little better, I'm going to build another one. And build a few more models and build another one. And so on and so on. And then um, line them all up to show kind of, you know, my progression of model building. Um, as far as the cars go, like I said, I, I do mostly, you know, model railroad and military stuff, and, you know, Dr. Cranky has really inspired me to, uh, start building, you know, more car stuff, so. So that's kind of the shot of the interior there, it's just box stock, of course, um, didn't do any customization. I probably could have did a lot better job of just dry brushing the radio and stuff and and all that but uh, all right folks so that was my uh, what was to be the box stock build um, it's a little bit late well a lot bit late but anywho um, I'm gonna be doing a video uh, uh, a workshop update and chat. I just got a couple new kits. 
and I'm going to share my thoughts on this uh, this YouTube Google stuff so look for that video coming up shortly so alright well until next time remember be kind to one another and keep the glue on the styrene